How's it going guys? It's Dan from Headwaters Kayak and we're coming at you live from iCast. I was lucky enough to get Peter here, the designer for the new pedal drive for the Feel Free. I got a moment of his time this morning, so we wanted to walk you through the new drive. Peter, uh, what can you tell me about this? All right. Well, this is our new overdrive system. It's actually a dual system, which means that we've uh, got pedal and we've got motor. They're quite separate units, which means that we can run the pedal drive as a pedal drive and you can uprate your system by adding the motor components separately. That's really important to understand. So first of all, we'll start out with the drive. At the moment, we're actually in pedal drive. So we've got a 20 to one ratio. We've got the propeller, which is adjustable pitch. That means that you can set up your pitch of your propeller customized to your pedal preference. If you want to go really fast, you can change the pitch to coarse. If you just want to relax for the day, you can change it back to fine. It's totally customized to your actual use. So it's kind of like a bicycle in some ways, like almost like changing your gear. If you're a real strong pedaler, maybe you want to tweak that pitch to get a little bit more grab. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly. Awesome. That'll be good. So that's quite revolutionary. I don't think anybody's got to that point yet. Um, the other beauty about the system is the fact that you can go from pedal to motor very, very quickly. It's a simple matter of just basically holding the locks, you're clicking it in. The pedals are now totally disengaged from the system. Awesome. The motor is now engaged. So now we have drive to the pedal system. So we've got a variable control. And we've got forward and reverse. So that gives you basically the idea behind this is we have matched the actual motor speed or the motor power to the actual user drive part of the assembly. So we've matched the ergonomics from your self-propelled pedal mm -hmm. and we've matched it to the actual motor output. So that's why the whole system is quite balanced. And that's why we can offer the motor and pedal in one system totally. Yeah, that's truly incredible, you know, revolutionary. I can't even imagine how much time it's spent for you to figure this out. Well, could you do me a favor and just show me how it stows? So when you're not using it or you're in the shallows or you're in weeds, how do we pull this up? Sure. All righty. So the easiest way is to just click the, um, the motor out so it's now engaged. You look down through the hole, check up, make sure your prop is vertical and you just lift it up through the boat. Okay, so yeah, if you need to clean weeds out or whatever, you got the prop right here, it's handy and convenient. Uh, it's pretty awesome. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about the boat itself? I know this looks like the existing lures that we've been selling. Um, yes, that's correct. Um, it's the 2015 lure, which means anybody that has a lure can basically take this system and they can add it to the boat. Okay, so any of the new lures that come with the sonar pod will be able to accept this drive, which that's also pretty revolutionary that we have an existing model that we can now turn into a pedal drive. That's quite correct. And we've spent a lot of time on that to make sure it's really easy for somebody to do that. I mean, we set this whole boat up yesterday in about five minutes. We only had to bore one hole for the wiring access. The rest of it was like child's play, really. Okay, so the, the other thing is steering. Show me a little bit about how the steer. So again, we're using a standard lure, um, but you got to steer it somehow, so we, you have the rudder added. Yes, I mean, what we do here is we take the, um, the rack and pinion uh, drives and we clip them to the actual cable. So it means we can just screw these assemblies to the side of the boat and you'll see the wire connector grabs onto the cable. Now, hand control to the rudder. So it, it really means that when you are um, got the seat up and you're motoring or pedaling, you can, you can steer the boat effectively. If you actually want to put it down and you just want to paddle the boat like a normal um, sit-in, you just revert to your um, adjustable foot controls. So you can still use it as your paddle kayak, your foot controls still work just the same, it just clips to the existing line, which that's pretty awesome. The other thing is ergonomics. I, I'm a bicyclist. That was one of my main concerns is how's the ergonomics going to work uh, with a pedal specific boat. But I see how you got the seat adjustable this way. It's also adjustable this way. Tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, that's really important. As a, as a bicycle a cyclist, you'll know that adjust seat height is really important. 
Uh, for this it's exactly the same. So we've put a retro fitable seat adjustment on it so you can slide the seat oh, wow, yeah. back and forth. But, so once again, this is retro fitable into your existing boat. So effectively you buy the seat adjuster package and you bolt it in and now you can um, customise your boat to your perfect leg length for the pedal system. That's really key. I mean, that's really important if you're going to spend all day on the water. Right, I know it on my bicycle, if my seat height's wrong, it's going to hurt your knees, it's going to hurt your back. So this allows you to adjust your height, get good position for your hips, but also get the proper leg length here to the prop. That's correct. That's quite correct. Well, excellent work. We're really excited to see this thing. We can't wait to uh, see the final production version and get it in our shops. Peter, thanks so much for your time.